Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to Loop Learnings and this is the next video in this series. We are making clinic mind management system. We have been making reports um, and in this video we will continue, we'll make another report. But this report will be different as compared to what you have seen until now. In this report we will make a chart or a graph, or bar chart you normally call it. We will summarize the number of visits um, and then we will look at the analysis, we'll do the comparison between walk-in visits and the appointment visits and based on that we will create a a bar chart perhaps uh, or the graph will which will demonstrate uh, graphically uh, to uh, to the users that you know how many appointments we're getting uh, how many patients we're getting through appointments how many we're getting through the walk-in so if you're interested in this video please do watch until the end so you can learn thing or two from this video and i'm sure you will do um, before i proceed I, I wanted to ask if you uh, are new to my channel welcome if you're returning welcome back in any case if you're unsubscribed to the channel make sure that you do hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a new video now what i'm going to do is i'm going to utilize this query which is already created visits queue and the reason i'm saying that is because we have the information that we need so we have got the year we have got the uh, visit type as well so we are going to utilize this query first we are going to make another query which is cross type query based on this query and then we will use that cross type query to make uh, or populate information onto the report so let's go ahead and do that so i'm going to close this and I'm going to go to the ribbon on top and I'm going to click on create and so we get the ribbon and in here first I'm going to go to the queries and I'm going to choose query visit once I do that I get a pop-up uh, window and from here I choose the cross tab uh, query visit I click on ok and we are going to get some um, visits back to back and we will have to provide the information now with the cross tab what you have to do is think of it as an excel sheet you have the information in rows and in the columns and this is what we are going to provide uh, the information to Microsoft Access so it can create a query for us now it is asking which table or query contains the field you want to use for the cross tab and remember i spoke about this query visits queue so we'll go to the queries and we'll choose the visit queue once i do that now microsoft Access is asking which fields value do you want as a row heading so we have to provide row heading so i'm interested in uh, year you can actually select at up to three row headings so you can it will allow you to select up to three row heading as a field uh, but if you don't want like in this case i want only year so i'm not going to select uh, three uh, uh, fields i'm going to keep year for now now we'll move next now it will ask which field value you want as columns heading so what exactly you want in columns if you remember as i said we are going to do the analysis of appointments versus walk-in so that's the visit type so i'm going to choose visit type as the columns that i'm going to look for now i'm click on next i'll click on next now it is asking what number do you want to calculate for each column and row intersection well we want to calculate the number of visits right so we'll choose visit visit id and here we have to choose the function as I said, we will choose count because we are counting. So choose count. You have average, some uh, last, first, max, etc. But choose count. That is very, very important because we are counting. If you are doing sum of any of the record as part of the cross tab query, then you can choose sum. If you are doing average, then average, so on and so forth. But for now, we are going to keep it count of visit ID for intersection of the column and row so we'll click on next and now it is asking hey do you want to change the name or you want to keep the same name what i'm going to do is i'm going to change it to uh, visit qct uh, just for my own uh, abbreviation and now i'm going to click on finish and so we get this uh, query as a result which is actually um, a telling us uh, the information that we have uh, giving us the information that we have asked we can see here total visit appointments and walk-in awesome now we will close this query we are going to use this query to present it onto the report so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy existing report so for example i'm going to copy uh, visits r and i'm going to paste and i'm going to give a name and i'm going to call it appointment versus walk-in all right so i'm going to call that right click design view and we'll get rid of uh, all of the fields that are currently in this uh, report okay um we don't need that wider report uh, possibly you know a little bit uh, narrow but we'll see later on now i'm going to right click here i'm going to get rid of uh, the page footer and header because we don't need it okay now next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to bind this report with the query that we have just created visits qt visits qct so i'll go to report design property sheet and data tab 
and I'm going to copy this, uh, not copy, I'm going to provide the name of the query that is just created. Once we do that, I will fetch the information uh, fields, for example, here. And here we go, here we go. And then I'll do a little bit of uh, housekeeping with these uh, text boxes that I've just copied and pasted, okay? Uh, not copied, but dragged and dropped, all right? So Calibri, that's important. We'll uh, do the layout stack so we can have them properly. And then I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out and remove them. All right. Now in here, I will uh, bring this label on the top. And we have to do a little bit of manual formatting. That's uh, important. If you want to look, if you want the report to look nice, then you should be uh, doing this. So I'm going to repeat this for each of the uh, fields that we have fetched onto the report as part of uh, this uh, report creation. So we'll get the appointments and I'm going to, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Okay. We'll do further formatting for this. I know I'm sure there is a way uh, of doing it automatically maybe, but you know, I'm a little old school. I like to stick uh, to the manual way of doing stuff. All right. All right. Not everything I like manual to be very honest. I like, I love automation to be very, very honest. Okay. Anyway, um, that's done. So we'll select all and we'll make sure that it's uh, like centrally assigned, not centrally assigned, centrally align the text. I'm going to select all the labels and I'm going to change the font size for the labels. I'm going to make them bold. And so we can have the proper view. All right, there you go. So I'm going to reduce the height. Nope. Okay. So instead of FY, we'll say year. Instead of portal of visits, we'll say total visits, just changing a little bit, um, appointment and walk in. Okay. So that's fine. Uh, just a little bit more. Just bear with me. I'm going to make a graph or chart next for sure. Um, after doing formatting for all of this. So I'm going to increase the height for this report design, a property sheet, and I'm going to go to format tab and I'm going to go to top margin, maybe 0 0.05. No, that's that's too low. 0 0.09. No. One. No. 0 0.5. Okay, I have to reduce that to 0 0.3. Again, still not. All right. 0 0.15. How about that? No. 0 0.19. Okay, that's fine. I'm not going to continue with that. All right. So we have this a uh, text boxes. Let's go to report view and let's see how it looks like. And we have a problem, visit date. Okay, now I can see why grouping. And there you go. So quickly realize what's the problem. There we go. We have this um, little text boxes telling us the information. And we can beautify. We can increase the font size. We can do a lot. Uh, I mean, the sky is limited. I always, I always say that, as you know. Okay, so now... What I'm going to do, I'm going to make a graph or chart because that's the main purpose. Uh, so showing information in this format is great. But if we have a graph here, the report will look really, really nice. So let's go to design view and let's go to the report design. And if you'll see in controls, there is a control called chart. We are not going to use that. What we are going to use, however, is insert modern chart. So I'm going to click on that. And you can see there are many types of charts, same like Excel or any other PowerPoint you'll find the similar kind of chart. So that's why this is separate insert modern chart. What I'm going to use for this video purpose is clustered column chart. So I'm going to go in there and I'm going to fetch and drag and drop in here. Now, this is the dummy information. Now we have to bind this chart to the data. So how do we do that? Well, we come here and we define the data, which is visits QCT. That's the query. Now we'll come here and we'll define the Y axis values. So that's the appointment and the walk-in. That's what we are looking for. Now we'll do a little bit more formatting of the chart or the graph so it looks nicer. So we'll go to the format tab and we will use for both series, we will do the formatting separately. So for example, right now the for formatting will be done for appointment. So instead of sum of appointments, we will say appointment. Okay. Um, and then we, will, we can change the color. Maybe we can change to dark blue, uh, the color for this series. And we can also display the data level. So little data level will be displayed on the top. You can see here. And um, I think that's pretty much it uh, for now. And now we can do the same for the walk-in as well. 
So I'll choose the walk in here and instead of sum of walk in, we'll say remove sum of. So keep the walk in and we can change the color for this as well. Maybe we'll keep it as a gray and we can also display the label data labels here as well. OK, so that's pretty much it. Uh, we wanted that. Now we can can we do further formatting? Can we change some more things in this graph? Absolutely. So right click and we go to the properties uh, of this chart. And now in here, first, let's get rid of the chart title. I mean, not get rid of, change the chart title to actual chart title. So we can come here and uh, we have the chart title here. So we can say appointment versus walk-in analysis, something like that, whatever you want, versus walk-in analysis, OK? And you can change the font. You can change the color. Let's make it full black. And you can change the uh, the the font size as well. We'll keep it 14 for now. If you want to have subtitle for this, you can have it by turning it on. But we don't need it, actually. Um, then you can move on. And you can continue with making the color change. Basically, for all the access, for all the information that we have, we will make it as full black color so it looks nicer. Um, and, and it has one color throughout. That's very, very important. OK, so I think that's much that's pretty much it when it comes to formatting so we can um, we can reduce the size of the, we can reduce the width of this uh, report by moving these objects uh, around so we can you know make it a little nicer there we go if i go to the uh, report view now this is how our report looks like so you have the information on the top in the text boxes but you have the information in the bottom, which is like a presentation view. Now, this is like very little numbers of the visits. But if you uh, will create this for the actual clinic for the entire year, you'll be able to actually uh, get some of the very valuable insights from uh, these uh, reports. And you can present it the way it, it is presented here on uh, the Microsoft graph here on the forms, on the report, sorry. So, you know, this is how you can uh, you can carry on. You can actually present the information, make a report, make some graphs. Sky's the limit, as I, as I, as I always say, uh, because you can do a lot with Microsoft Access reports, honestly speaking. And this is one of the example. I hope that you have liked whatever you have seen. If you have liked, smash the like button. Uh, tell me in the comments below as well. Um, you know, we can further modify this, and I will try to do that in the next video, perhaps. But for now, that's it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.